Uh, definitely hot outside. It's about to get much hotter on the sticks right now, as you guys can see. We're moving on in this bracket. We're gonna have Spectrum Smash Leon going up against Half of 8,000 Gen. So a battle of the Tri-State Weeklies mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, respective horses they decide to race on. Yes, we've got the Lizard Breathing Fire and the Waifu Fire top tier looking right now. Now, Jen, I mean, most people local will know Jen, very top contender at Xeno. I think he's uh, number four right now on the state PR. Yes. Yes. And so Leon, newly number minted number three on the New Jersey PR, uh, one of the flag bearers for the state of New Jersey. And already off to a really quick start here. This is kind of a hot contention of money, uh, you know, of side bets between the, the teams. Oh, I don't think yeah, Leon's yeah. ever beaten Jen before, but at the same time, Leon's stock is very, very high right now. As you can, as you can tell, already off to, out to a very strong start. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And one thing that gets me about this matchup, right, is typically if you're against Bowser and you yourself are not a heavyweight that benefits heavily from Rage, Ooh. things like that will happen. Even if Bowser is behind on percent, things like that can happen. So now that he's a stock up and not even sitting on that much Rage, this is a lot harder to deal with. Yeah, but... Great start for Leon, and already getting started with that neutral air into the falling forward air. And again, this is kind of the hard part. Palutena, you know, she's got great options on, you know, on block. Not many characters have options uh, to deal with stuff like neutral air and back air if it's spaced perfectly. But Bowser has so many fantastic out of shield options, and that back air almost eradicating that second stock. That Here comes might, a side no, beam. no, no. So he actually, Jen, uh, the player who is in the Bowser side, the Bowser bomb, whatever you would like to call it, uh, they can influence the direction slightly. So it looks like Jen might have held left on that one try to keep himself off the platform, but he can't keep himself out of the blast zone. He hasn't even meant to take Leon's stock yet. No, so Leon off to a fantastic start, and once again, making great use of that side B command grab, coming out frame six, buying him an option to get off the ledge right there, which I think where Bowser probably struggles the most in this matchup. And as long as Leon can hit those, I don't see why he can't win this. As you can see, he's yep. already up two stocks. You'll so. also see a lot of that uh, up the outer shield, very quick option. I think that's also frame six. It's very fast. Uh, oh, geez, geez. Nah. No, no, it is, okay. See, I thought with the jump and uh, the teleport back, he would have made it. But he took him all the way down to the last zone. That was quick. That was like a minute and a half or something. Yeah, that was a very fast game. Leon really didn't look like he was sweating much. Yeah, you like, sure Leon's never taken the game over, Jen? I was going to say. Not, I mean, hold on. I heard yes, that in the it. crowd from somebody. That's oh. all I... I'm just going off of public information. But right now, you know, that was looking like... Uh, Quite the shellacking right there. So. Yes, exactly. If this is his bracket demon, he's found his holy water. Yeah. <laughs> we are being, we are cleansed uh, on this beautiful Sunday here. So let's see uh, if Jen can kind of, you know, uh, straighten his head out. Like, that's definitely one way to kind of, you know, wake up a bit. Like, I know some players kind of tend to start a little bit slower on these important sets. So mm -hmm. Now, uh, one could also argue that, um, you know, the first round is always for getting the read off. But it's hard to say you can get much of a read when you were sort of getting ragdolled around like that. But we'll see. Jen already starting out this game. He was a lot slower, sort of pushing Leon to the edge here. And we'll see if he uh, makes something work now. He's got the Nair. He's going for his follow up draw, looking pretty good. Yeah, again, the big thing here for Jen is how long and, you know, how much can he uh, capitalize on keeping Bowser in disadvantage, specifically from the ledge. I think heavyweight characters, you know, they're while they're also really good in the, they're probably the best they've been in this game than they have in other Smash games. Yes. They still have to wait in line like everybody else getting off the ledge. And Palutena, so good at just keeping you in what feels like disadvantage for forever. Not only that, but Palutena with all of her active frames and Bowser's big body means that he has a very strong chance of getting clipped. And Palutena doesn't drop a whole lot of stuff. Nair, very consistent. If you get one hit, you'll probably get the rest of them. So he did. Catches with the forward air. See, that's the thing. Bowser is one of the few characters, I would argue, that can actively try to trade with Palutena in the air, which is a difficult thing to do. He's just got massive hitboxes. Uh, massive weight, too. Low angle as he gets set off the blast zone. Yes, sir. Back throw, clean up the stock. So Jen, you know, already off on the right foot here to start this game, yep. but the back air yo! is just going to squeak into the he, first He was giving him the nair plane, and he says, yo, you riding coach? He says, nah, first class. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> this train runs local right now, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. All right, keeping him at the ledge. Very patient right there, Bo. A little risky. If Leon burns his jump and then Jen gets it, that means he's very linear on the recovery, and Jen can run down with a Nair, maybe even go for a spike. Great use of the get-up attack right there, the unconventional uh, option to get off the ledge, but still, oh. Jen just positioning himself right. in the right way to not get hit by these big hitboxes of Bowser. Yes, and you will see in disadvantage, Bowser does have decent options to mix it up. You see the stall and fall there with the down air. You'll see uh, things like the side B command grab, good out of shield with the up B. Um, but these are all very risky options if they don't hit, if they don't work, especially even on whiff. Things like that back air do have the landing lag uh, that gives Jen his opening. 
We'll there see if he can get back on ledge here. Looking deadly. And this was what I was talking about game one. Bowser at this percent loves sitting on raid. So if he can survive and find a stray hit on Jen, this could actually turn into a stock percent or stock lead for right, Leon. So good use of the explosive flame right there to force Leon on the low recovery. Oh, that's it. And there we yeah. go. Down tilt going to catch the up B forward there, cleaned up the stock. So now Jen finds himself up once again, but Leon. Again, continuing to press right now. Mm -hmm. Nothing off of that throw at this percent right now. Yep, he's going to be looking for the command grab. No kill, good DI. Yeah, even on the platform, you know, that definitely wouldn't have been surprised to see that kill, but still, Jen getting as much mileage out of the stock as he can. Yep, I'm honestly so used to seeing Bowser with some amount of rage that I was like, yeah, let's just assume this kills. Let's assume Bowser's a killer. <laughs> all right. Yo, let's jump. Oh, wow. he wanted to end it all. All right. Funny thing is, is that if he had gotten that off, even if Bowser had had his jump, that's such a vertical recovery to make that that's easy pickings for Jen's edge guard, and he'll rack on a lot of percent. Oh yeah, Palutena, like we just said, Ooh. one of the best characters at keeping you uh, both on the ledge and also uh, killing you very early. So really good job dodging over with the forwarder right there. Goes actually right over his attempt to grab him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see, Jen starting to catch on to the command grab yep. off the ledge, but still gonna get. Uh, Swift, swept up by that back throw. Yep, he gets chucked right off the stage. Yeah, but Leon gonna have to play this one pretty close to the vest right now. He can't really right. afford to mess up because Palutena has a plethora of kill moves uh, if given the opportunity to land them. Ooh, Leon! That was, that, was, that was actually not as risky as it might look because it snaps to the ledge like that, but that's still sort of a wacko option to go for right now. All right, just grab. Yep. All right, good confirm. Bowser's wow. big. He ain't dying yet. Now he's dead. Now he's dead. Yeah, there we go. Now that's the first time oh. Leon actually. Ooh, he's talking to the crowd right now. Jen, Jen a little, Jen a little positive about that. Jen a little. Uh, he says, "Man, I ain't no princess. I'm a yeah. goddess. You think I'm gonna sit in some castle tied up to some chair with rope?" There we go. Oh! Do you know what I'm made of? Captain Do you know what I am made of? <laughs> captain Phillips, look at me. I am the captain now. <laughs> Yo, a resounding, confident return after game one. That was See, that's the thing, right? You see a lot of this at top level play. Adaptation on the fly that makes a game one that looks like, oh man, that was a total stomp, into where did this come back from? Exactly. He, he was confident and he had control about 80% of the time on that because of oh, the ledge play. Oh no. But we could potentially see some wacky shenanigans in the, uh, in the category of recoveries right here, Gretch, because this stage, you know, infamously really bad for characters if you have teleport recoveries. You have to be a little bit more conscious of where you recover. Yes, so for those who don't know, uh, teleport recoveries in this game work by drawing a line following whichever direction you input. And then if you hit a surface, you actually follow that surface out. That's why if you teleport recovery on FD and beefy it while you're in towards the stage, you shoot out from the stage. This stage, because it's sort of shaped like a tooth or a corn kernel, if you're <laughs> underneath where it goes out diagonally and you teleport up, you will always follow the line straight out at SD. That is a very consistent thing that happens, which means that Jen won't be able to recover very low, Ooh. which means he has to eat the Bowser aerials on stage, which is a very difficult thing to do. Yes. <laughs> Talking about teeth, uh, Palutena getting knocked in the teeth right there by that back air, but yeah, yeah we'll see if the stage pick, uh, works out so far. And it already has for Leon, but still, Jen continuing to keep him in disadvantage. He's been getting a real, uh, he's been doing a good job of getting Ooh. more grabs, and there we go. Back air to back air. Doubly nice. Absolutely. He says, my best defense is my offense. Eat the shield. Smacks him on the back. Now, here's the thing, right? Although this stage is nice for the uh, teleport recovery detail, uh, these platforms, I feel, are still very good for Jen to shark because even if Leon tries to land on them, that's optimal spacing for Palutena to go, oh, I'm going to shark with back air. I'm going to shark with there. I'm going to shark with up air. What are you exactly. going to do? But there we go. Once again, Leon back in the blender right now. You see him try to use the cover, the, the platforms as coverage, able to get around Jen right there, but still puts himself back into the corner at disadvantage. Forcing his, having to force his way back to the, down Ooh, to the ground. Okay, good parry off that jab. You can actually do that on reaction, but you have to be ready for that. <laughs> right. Someone drank their Red Bull this morning for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chasing him far off. He's not making that back. Ooh. Oh no, he has his jump. That could have been so dangerous on both ends because Jen was at the part of the stage where you have to be conscious of the recovery. Yes, but he, still was, decided, he was low enough. Yeah, yes. but still, it was, it was probably a trade worth taking because either way, he would have taken that stock from Leon. Leon. That's right, we got super oh. armor. <laughs> you rarely see that come into play, but Bowser does have super armor now. He is basically Little Mac. <laughs> All right. <laughs> because someone thought that was a good idea. <laughs> someone thought that was a good idea. Yo, let's give Little Mac a command grab, make him never die, and also uh, make him the king of the Koopas. Oh! oh! Never mind. Up smash, anti-airing Palutena right there. So Leon 
now starting to pull out some of the other tricks in his book. That's going to be a quick 28.5% on that yep. up throw to forward air. Yep, you don't want to get launched up at this angle right now. Bowser taking his jump. This could be a lot of damage. Teleports away. Bowser can't get there in time to punish. That does have low ending lag on Palutena's teleport. There you go. Getting shield poked by the, the Whirling Fortress right there. All right. Very nice. Butters after the jump now. Okay, Gen wanted to end it all, but actually gives up his chance. Yo, he gets meeting by the forward tilt. He gets two framed by the forward tilt. And if I'm correct, there is intangibility on the forward arms of Bowser right there. So, yes. And yeah. being able to reach through the ledge like that is just so good against teleport. Recoveries. So wait, let's see that right there. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. Here comes the giant fist. <laughs> and then he <laughs> That was absolutely fantastic uh, from Leon. Again, I feel like the counter bigger Unova definitely just worked out in both facets right there. Yeah, yeah. Because Jen, once again, was slow enough to where he can't just hug the wall, usually, you know, that little bit of extra space potentially could have made the difference right there. And he's running it back. So yep. he does not care about the stage. He's like, it wasn't the stage's fault. It was my fault. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to exactly. try to pick up the pieces So right now here. the thing is, right, is that although that is a detail and it does take away a little bit of your ability to mix up um, how you recover, uh, it is something you can play around absolutely, especially Palutena with a very generous airspeed, a decent double jump. Um, and her teleport is very fast, so even if she, say, recovers on top onto the stage, uh, she has a good chance of getting away with it. Uh, speaking of getting away with it, getting away with 70% right off the bat here, that's pretty good. All right, air dodge. We've been seeing a lot of spot dodging and uh, being out of shield here. A lot of defensive options. Leon trying to reverse it here. And Jen not really baiting too much of this out. But it's it's dangerous to bait Bowser because yes. then you get hit with a forward smash and die at 50. Yeah, it's definitely a dangerous, uh, you know, hand to play with. But again, both players just kind of respecting each other's space right now. Great call out with the anti-air uh, neutral right there from Jen. Gets the grab once again, and the RAR back here will connect. Not going to be enough to kill just yet, but Leon going to be forced to recover Oh, that does take low. his jump. And there yep, we go. That was good. Very clean, very textbook takedown. Yep. If, you wanna, if you're, you know, want an example of clean and uh, consistent edge credit for Palutena, take a look at that last clip. So. Tango down. So get that next turtle in your sights. <laughs> When's the next stock coming down? <laughs> All right. And Jen continuing to, you know, add on to this lead right now. Maybe you can kind of sense the tilt starting to come in. Great call out. Ooh, the, uh, he had a good call out on that. He actually had the timing slightly off on that one, but he had the call out like, you're going to toss out an aerial. Uh, like that wonderful headbutt. Horns and all taking him off the top last one. Yeah, and a falling neutral air. Such a good tool for Bowser. Like, it has such low end lag on it, and it sets up into so many of his very powerful uh, killing blows, like that up air we saw right there. Speaking of, okay, going to see a forward air, chase off stage. So that's actually really difficult to deal with. A lot of damage off of the fire, and if you space it correctly, you can't be get up attacked by it. Jen playing with fire right there as he did that dash attack on shield, but living to see another day. Mm -hmm. now Leon, oh, that air oh dodge God. could have spelled death for them. He nearly got clipped by that back here. Okay, right. reads the roll. Gets yep. the Bowser, uh, or gets the Whirling Fortress. I, I, no, it's a Flying Press. That's what it's called. Flying Fortress. <laughs> <laughs> it said something. Flying Fortress. He hurts you. Send him flying. <laughs> yes, okay. All right, goes for the down, so try to catch him up there. All right, very textbook. Oh, doesn't get the kill. Baiting out the jump. Nice, good chase. Still no death. He does still have no jump. Uh-oh. Okay, that's not bad. Gets back to the stage with a command grab. Going for the grab once again. Looking very difficult. Jen sitting on his winner's round stock. Leon continued to press. Oh, right okay, he had his jump. If he didn't have his jump, that actually would have been death. He wouldn't have been able to make it back because of Unova. All right. Nice, good roll. This is so scary right now. Oh, oh he goes goodness. for it. Sometimes, sometimes you got to break up the rhythm, right? It's very easy to get a back and forth pace going. So when you're expecting ba, 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 when there's a pause and a forward smash, sometimes you catch the wing. Sometimes you drink that Red Bull. Yep. Sometimes <laughs> Jen is on top of his game going uh -oh. for 56%, and he's still hungering for blood. Oh, misses the grab. Oh, yes, that could be deadly. And that'll Yo, do it. that'll be it. And there we go. Spectrum smash, Leon. Over House of 3000, Jen moving on into winner's bracket. I believe that might punch his ticket in the top 16. It just might. And it does. So. Yo, so you see right there, not having that grab, that was a little bit ambiguous on the down air. Not having that <laughs> grab there and Devin, made all the difference. And Devin doing classic House of 3000 Jen, and it gives me the slow mo of the, the pop. The slow mo off. pop. It off. is my. <laughs> <laughs> the one from Smash and Elfia still makes me laugh. <laughs> Just, that was so good. But again, that's honestly the best one. It honestly Yo. is. That needs to go in the museum or something. Yeah. But again, that was such a good set between both guys. And it was where I saw the most adaptation is where 
you know, Leon won the first game pretty handily, and then Jen started getting a lot more grabs. He was starting yes. to be a lot more conscious of like, okay, you know, I'm gonna run up on your face, and you know, if I grab you when you're on the ledge, there's really not much else you can do. He was getting a lot more grabs in those games two and games three, and then Leon started catching on to that, started doing a lot more spot dodges, and when you have, you know, with a mechanic like spot dodge canceling in the game, you know, you're able to cut the end leg of your spot dodge uh, in half if you do a special move. This was plus of how good a move Bowser's up he already is. You know, it's just free damage you're, you know, you're allowing your opponent to take. So. 